step-by-step -step instructions on how to use a fentanyl test strip. First, let's go over what you need. 1. Acquire a very small amount of powder to test. You may use the residue left on the bag the powder was held in, or if you would like to test a pill, just scrape some of it off, crush it and use what's left. 2. A water source. Any small container will do. You can use the original bag the substance in question came in, just empty out the contents into a new bag and test the residue. You can even use the pouch the test strip came in. Whatever container you use, try to use at least 15 milliliters of water. Please note, the test will still work with less than 15 milliliters of water. 15 milliliters is just the optimal amount. Let's go over how to use the test strip. One, put the powder in the container of water you've selected. Two, stir the powder in the water until it is completely dissolved. Three, hold the solid blue end of the test strip and dip the other end into the water. Four, hold the strip in the water for about 10 seconds. You'll know when it's ready because the water will be sucked up into the white part of the strip. Five, take the strip out of the water and wait 60 seconds. Six, analyze the test strip. Count how many red lines there are. Two lines means no fentanyl present. One line means fentanyl is present and proceed with caution. Some things to consider. Fentanyl test strips test for many analogues of fentanyl, but not all of them. When using, start off slow and please have some naloxone handy for yourself or someone else. You could save a life. For more information or to get fentanyl test strips mailed to your home, go to our website www.endoverdose.net. Thank you for watching.